Hi, this is Alex Kozlowski with Vector Zero, and today I will be covering segmentation categories in Roadrunner 2019. In this tutorial, I'll be covering how segmentation is performed in our tool, how to visualize the results, how to enable segmentation on export, and finally, how to add and apply your own custom categories. I hope you find this presentation useful. Let's get started. Segmentation in Roadrunner refers to the process of categorizing geometric primitives within the scene. In this way, roadbeds, markings, sidewalks, curbs, signs, signals, and trees can all be uniquely distinguishable from each other, even if they share the same material. This categorization has many applications, but is especially useful as a source of ground truth validation for anyone creating their own semantic segmentation algorithms. Several segmentation categories come built into Roadrunner, some based on lane types and surfaces, while others are more specific to asset types. For an up-to-date list, please refer to the documentation. Most segmentation categories are assigned automatically through Roadrunner's procedural geometry engine. To view the current state of the segmentation, simply change the sensor type of the camera using the View Sensor submenu and select the Segmented option. Roadrunner will now colorize the scene based on the segmentation category. To leave this mode, simply return to the View Sensor submenu and reselect the Camera option. In addition to previewing segmentation results, Roadrunner also supports export of segmentation categories. You can preview some of the segmentation output directly in Roadrunner using the Scene Export Preview tool and by enabling the Split by Segmentation option. Roadrunner supports exporting segmentation categories in two primary ways. First, on export, Roadrunner separates mesh triangles categorically within their larger surface group. For example, a typical road mesh might be split into sidewalks, curbs, gutters, markings, and a general base mesh. In addition to triangle separation, materials are also categorically split. For each instance of a material within a segmentation category, Roadrunner creates a duplicate and appends the category name. For example, a concrete material used both on a sidewalk and a curb would export as two materials with the names concrete underscore sidewalk and concrete underscore curb, respectively. While some category types are assigned by Roadrunner directly, there are a few asset types which allow you to define the category type yourself. At the time of this tutorial, these assets include props, signals, extrusions, and all marking types. To assign your own category, select the asset in question and use the drop-down menu and select the category of your choice. Roadrunner also supports the addition of custom segmentation categories, which you can use to extend the options available to you in the drop-down menu. To create your own categories, open the segmentationcategories.xml file located in the project subfolder of your Roadrunner project. If you're using an older project from a pre-2019 version of Roadrunner, you might not have this file. If not, you can simply create this manually. Sample content is available in the documentation. Using your favorite text editor, Add a new entry to the list of categories. Give your category a name and color of your choice. In my case, I'll be adding some new lane marking categories. You'll need to restart Roadrunner for your categories to take effect. Now, once your scene is reloaded, you should be able to assign your new category to the asset of your choice. In my case, I'll be assigning the new dashed marking category to my dashed lane marking style. Re-enabling our segmented view, we can now see that all dashed markings in our scene have inherited the new segmentation category. Once again, this is Alex Kozlowski with Vector Zero. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on segmentation and look forward to your feedback. Cheers.